Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm not in my usual woodlands or by the beach or anything like that. I'm in Manhattan, heading for Whitney Museum. There's an exhibit going on there that I want to see and I haven't uh, been in the city for a little bit, in Manhattan for a little bit. So I figure while I'm here, I'm going to do, some, do a little bit of urban shooting, which I don't really do. and. Uh, one of the things I kind of told myself at the beginning of the year, I'm going to try and do a few different genres other than the usual uh, landscape and wildlife. And in fact, since I do live in New York City, I don't really do very much, say, cityscapes or street photography, but that's something I want to try and do a little bit more of also. So I uh, hope you like what you're going to see, and if you do, I'm going to ask you in advance to give me a like and a subscription and a comment, and you know how things go. And uh, off we go. I'm on the terrace on the eighth floor of the uh, Whitney. And as you can see around here, the view is absolutely spectacular. And I'm definitely going to, before I actually go and shoot some of the exhibits inside, well, not shoot, but view some of the exhibits inside. Definitely want to take some time to do some uh, architectural shots and uh, basically just some of the general scenery. Now it's right about midday, actually it's just after 12 o'clock, so it's midday. And normally for, for landscape, that would be terrible light, a terrible time of day, the, the light is very harsh and everything, but when you're shooting urban or, or, or cityscapes, actually that works in your favor. You get very sharp, dark shadows and in post, and I might actually accentuate that or do them in black and white. So I'm gonna walk around here and uh, see some of the, do some of the shots that are actually leaping to my face right now. And uh, you're gonna see them right here. Okay, so right now I'm on a landing between on the out exterior store uh, stairs between the eighth and I guess the sixth floors of the of the museum. And this particular st structure, as you can see, is made of a grating. And you can see underneath it. And I think what I'm going to do is try and find some spots where I, there's somebody walking underneath, and that might actually might be that might actually be an interesting sh shot. I'm going to have to. Uh, I'm, well, uh, I'm hand holding everything because I didn't bring a tripod. But what I'm going to do, trying to find a spot where people are walking underneath, try and shoot through the grating and see what kind of pattern that makes. And that might make for an interesting composition. So I'm going to hang around out here for a little while, and then I'm going to go see some more of the museum. And uh, if I get anything good, you've got to see it right now. 
As I began waiting for people to pass below me, I noticed the interesting shadows cast by people walking on a level up overhead. So I changed my plans. So don't get too locked into a composition, keep looking around. So I'm on the seventh floor terrace of the, of the museum. Behind me there's a statue, which you can see right here. And as I come around behind the statue, and if you look through the windows of the arm, you can see the Freedom Tower and some other skyscraper downtown. So I'm gonna take a few shots. We're a little, getting a little artsy fartsy here. I'm gonna take a few shots framing the Freedom Tower around the, uh, the arms and uh, head of the statue and the back view of the statue and whichever ones come out most interesting, you're gonna see right here. I later realized that subconsciously, I'd evoked the lost Twin Towers in this composition. And I'll never forget the events of 9-11 as no American or New Yorker should. I went on to tour the Whitney's exhibits, but I stopped to capture this scene in the stairwell. I was able to catch the one guy's hand stationary while everything else was moving. I hope there's not too much wind noise, but I've just left the museum. Uh, pretty good exhibitions, although two of the floors are closed because it's setting up for a major um, biennial exhibit, they wouldn't do a biennial, they happen every two years by definition. So uh, anyway, I'm going to put a link to the Whitney below if anyone wants to see, uh, if you're in the New York City area, I definitely want to uh, suggest that you, uh, that you visit this museum. It's a museum of, you know, focuses on American art and American artists. And uh, while the exhibits, some of the exhibits that I just saw may not be open by the time you're watching this, there was always going to be something. So now there's a, uh, there's a brand new city park that's going to cross, open on some uh, artificial islands right across uh, the, heart, the highway from here, across, across the West Side Highway. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see it. I forget the name of this park, but uh, it looks pretty cool and it'll be my first opportunity to actually visit it. So I'm going to go over there now and maybe uh, get a few more shots before I head out. So I'm standing here before Hudson River Park. It, uh, you can see, it looks really very futuristic, and almost like a series of space pods. Something had come down from, from some far other galaxy. They just landed here. I'm going to take a few shots with my 24 to 105 on an R5. I did bring a longer lens, which uh, is unfortunate for me, but I think I should be able to get some interesting detail before I actually go up onto the park. As you can see, it is an island in the middle of the Hudson River. It's New Jersey, I think Jersey City. No, it's not Jersey City. Hoboken, maybe on the other side. And then we'll take it from there once I get up on the island.
so this is a nice little park kind of interesting um, basically it's just uh, you know, a, a, a series of uh, walkways along these artificial islands um, I think it'll be nicer to look at in the springtime and definitely in the summertime Although in the summertime is you think it's busy now in the summertime it's gonna be crazy there's a lot of tourists here even now and it's the middle of you know end of uh, uh, February this is very different content from what I usually do you know so please uh, let me know what you think in terms of uh, my street shooting I'm gonna try and get a few more shots as I wait, make my way back to the subway, but right now my fingers are about freezing off, so I think I'm going to call it a day. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please give me a like and a subscription and a comment. Hit that notification bell that's right down to your right. And uh, I'll see you next time. Okay then. Bye.